Hi, I'm Caden with Los Rios Rock School, and today we're going to be going over fat back hi hat patterns. So what these are, you just take basic drum beats, and we're just going to add different hi hat patterns. These hi, there's four different hi hat patterns that you could use. Today I'm just going to go over two of them with you. So this first hi hat pattern is the rhythm of one and a two and a three and a four, and on the down beats you're going to open and close the hi hat. Cool. So it's just going to be like this. Alright, and then we're going to add the bass drum on beat 1 and the bass drum on beat 3. And then we're going to add the snares on beats 2 and 4. And it's going to sound like this. And with that exercise, you could also move the bass drum around. With moving the bass drum around, it's going to give you a lot more independence, a lot more freedom with your foot. So you're not stuck with just the same patterns all the time with the same songs. So an example would be like this, moving the bass drums on the E's of two and the E's of four. So it's gonna sound like this. And then you can move them over to the ands. And then the uhs. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write this one out. So we have the hi-hat pattern that we started out with. Which is this pattern right here. And the circle indicates it's an open and closing hi-hat. And it's going to be closed right here on the and of one. So we just write this pattern out. It's going to go for a full measure. So now we have that down. And so we're going to do the kicks on one and three, like I said, and the snares on two and four. So this is the pattern right here. It's the basic pattern. And then after I showed you the variations you could do with the kick pattern, and that's going to look like this. You could add the kick, like I said, on the E of two and the E of four. And then once you get that down, you can move on to the the and of two and then the and of four, like I demonstrated earlier, and then so on, you can move to the uh, and then you can just play with all those different types of bass drum patterns. All right, and then there's a second hi-hat pattern, and it's a simple one as well. This is just, this is the one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and pattern. Now what's going to be different about this pattern, obviously it's the rhythm, but it's where you're going to be opening and closing the hi-hat. Now it's going to be on the and. It's going to be on the and of one, the and of two, the and of three, and the and of four. As I've written right here. Alright, and then it goes for, and then this, all the rules apply for this hi-hat pattern that apply for this first one. So you have the kick drum on beat one, and you can do the snare on beats two and four. The snares on beats two and four, it's going to remain a constant. However, the kick drum pattern is what I'm going to allow you to play with. So play with the kick drum pattern and do whatever you want with it. Alright, so this one out here, I'm just going to demonstrate again, the really simple one, and then all the variations you could do. So that right there is the second hi-hat pattern. Thank you.